Hello, Jai Hind students. This is Vivek speaking, and I welcome you all once again in this live class. Children, after examination, this is the first class. So, first of all, we shall discuss the question paper which you have attempted in the half yearly examinations. And I hope you would have also enjoyed the holidays and uh, would have learned a lot from the story of the burning of replica of Ravana. Children, now let us move towards the paragraph for the first which is given in the question paper. It is here before you. Let me put it on shut mode. Now it is visible clearly to you. Here the question paper is uh, showing three paragraphs and these paragraphs are here. The first is dreams have always universal fascination. This is the first line of the paragraph. Children, as far as I have discussed unseen passages with you, there I have discussed with you that the most important thing for us to make our unseen passages easy to answer is to go through the questions for the first, which will make an impression in your mind regarding the questions raised after the unseen passages. Secondary is to go through the passage and notice the key words. Once you read the questions, you have the key words in your mind and while reading the passages, you are able to scan it. So we shall follow the same process. Let us have a look on the questions first and then we shall go through the, the paragraphs. So here you are. The first question is according to some primitive societies how does a dream take place so they are talking about how does a dream take place according to the primitive societies and uh, you may take a look a bird's eye view on the different options given in the question but uh, i think that uh, you should save your time and notice only the key words primitive societies and a dream take place so here it is given in the first lines um, some primitive societies believe that the soul leaves a body and visits the senses of the dream. So the first answer is given here. So the answer would be the third one in the way you are supposed to do in the examinations. And uh, I hope that many of you would have followed this fashion only. Okay, that was the only way uh, we had discussed further the questions. Now I will tell you the answers quickly because we are not going to uh, do the same thing that we had done before the examinations. Now this class is only to tell you what is the right answer of the questions asked in the examination. Okay, so let us see. The different questions the second question is how our dreams and fantasies interlinked so the answer would be d option it is believed that whatever we think and imagine in day they come in our uh, dream while sleeping so this is the most authentic option given in the paragraph that you would have seen okay in this paragraph this is the option d dream here it is here it is okay next is children the third question how our dreams affected by external forces so answer to this question is the fourth option d all of the above suffocations dreams breathing difficulties of a heavy old cold and dreams of racing fire uh, engines so next question is give an example to bring out the connection between deliberately deflicated pain and dreaming answer for this question is the first one these questions were quite easy and hope you would all 
have done these questions correctly and the session is very important for those who are quite uh, inquisitive in uh, being informed regarding the correct answers and were asking the questions in the whatsapp group that what would be would be the right answer for the different questions so here it is for them and those who think that uh, now since the exams are over it is not required to be discussed are at fault they must understand that every question must be cleared so that you may be uh, able to make use of it in future and definitely your final exams are uh, still awaiting for you so you must make your mind up for the final examinations and discuss each and everything keenly in the classes being conducted for you soon the classes will be conducted for uh, you all even physically and there you would also be able to ask questions to the teachers as the query sessions are being conducted for uh, 10th and 12th now later on it would be conducted for you as well okay for now these classes will go uh, by the end of this month and uh, expectedly we shall be meeting there in this school and discussing the questions face to face let us see the other questions children here the fifth question is what do the actual events of the dream depend on so the answer is a association of discomfort in the mind of the sleepers okay next is question number six find the word in the para one which means ancient so here in sixth answer is primitive ancient means old and here primitive means something from quite old time primitive does not literally mean old but it means from the old time so here the sum the word which is having slightly association to the word given in the options can be chosen for the answer but if there is any other word which is having direct meaning to it uh, will be the first answer for your question but if you do not find any relation in any other three options whatever you find nearest to the answer can be opted as your answer that we have discussed next question is question number seven find the word in the para one which means false ideas a seventh answer is b illusion question number eight find the word in the para three opposite in meaning to relaxation eight option is discomfort is opposite to relaxation it is quite easy for you and uh, i believe that most of the students in fact all of the students would have attempted this question easily question number nine is find the word in the para three which means encouraged so in para three the answer would be stimulated and question number 10 is give the verb form of suffocation suffocation you know this is a noun whenever you add t-i-o-n in any of the verb it becomes noun they are asking for verb suffocate it is a verb suffocating it is also a verb you are only adding ing ed is added it is in third form it is, but it is also a verb so here d option is the most appropriate because it is saying that all are correct question number 11 now these questions are from grammar section choose the best correct options from the following so question number 11 first question is stars blank in the sky at night so stars twinkle here this is used as verb and uh, the verb is plural because the subject stars is also a plural and you have read that in subject verb agreement when the subject is singular uh, a verb should always be plural in form and when the subject uh, sorry when the subject is singular the verb will also be singular when the subject is plural as here it is given stars so your verb will also be plural in form okay and 
most of the students uh, get confused because they think that here the subject is with s stars and the verb is without s twinkle so here the difference between noun and verb in plural and singular is inverse when you add s or es in nouns it becomes plural but when you add s or es in verb it becomes singular that we have read in subject verb agreement classes if you find any difficulty you can go through the videos of subject verb agreement in your school app and you will be able to understand the concepts on subject verb agreement regarding use of correct verb okay let us discuss the further questions question number 12 the patient dash before the doctor came so the correct answer is had died they are, are discussing about the thing that had happened already happened before the activity of the coming of the doctor or arrival of the doctor so you will write here had died okay past perfect and you know in past perfect you use helping verb and third form of the verb question number 13 i saw that the policemen dash the thieves so here were chasing here it is describing that the question is in past i saw the activity is in past tense so take care of it okay next is 14th he is a very rude person so i dash him i you will here write would not help here yeah, this is the thing some of the students would be kind enough and to show their kind gesture they may uh, think that uh, even if somebody is rude i should help them but it is not like that in uh, pragmatism pragmatism is the generalization of your behavior and it teaches us that when somebody is rude you should uh, make a cut to them means have hand distance or avoid simply in simple word if you want to understand if you understand so there you will not have any kind of interaction with them simply you would not help them some of the students have written uh, well i will help him the fourth option would be uh, perhaps was uh, selected or chosen by uh, some of the students who had further written in the whatsapp group and were asking whether it was right so here you are with the correct answer next is neither ramesh nor his friends dash hurt in 15th the correct option is b neither ramesh nor his friends was hurt now you will say sir here there are two subjects <clears throat> ramesh and his friends okay so let me select it s properly here so why was will come here the nearest is friends so the verb will be used according to the nearest verb so here children you must take care of it that whenever we are making use of two different subjects there we must be careful that who we are talking about so here we are talking about neither ramesh nor his friends it means we are talking about both the things this is the first concept when there are two subjects so we see that number one how many subjects or who, how many people we are talking about we are talking about two people next to uh, th the next see, uh, thing to see is that which is in plural form so the first subject is in singular form and second subject is in plural form now the third thing is that how to make use of verb so children third thing is there that you will see whether it is used with or or any conjunction and 
or but. So there you will see that Ramesh first subject and friends second subject. These two subjects are used with or, nor, these things. Neither or or means when option is given simply just understand now simply. When option is given there you will take the first subject. Neither Ramesh nor his friends. Okay. And when option is not given, conjunction is given A and D and there you will see the nearest subject. So since here or option is given, there you will write singular subject. I have elaborated this very much. So if you are confused, simply just understand that when there are two subjects, and the first subject is singular and second subject is plural. And these two subjects are joined with or or nor. So there you will use the singular subject. But when these two subjects singular and plural are used or joined with conjunction and there you will use verb with the nearest subject, uh, subject. If the nearest subject is plural, you will use plural verb. If the nearest subject is singular, you will use singular verb. Okay. Next is children, question number 16, bread and butter, this is a pair, so here you will use B option, is, for pair words we use singular verb, 17th, mathematics, for subjects we use singular verb, okay, is, 18th, you like to have dinner with me tonight. 18th. Here you will write would. So if you write could, may, should. So these are also possible to make use of. But the meaning would be different. Okay. So the most appropriate here which is showing kind gesture is D would. Next is they dash hear him because he was whispering so 19th answer is d so here you are showing inability inability because the problem is shown next is 20 he has arrived late of situation is given full stop he blank missed the bus here must have so here the consequence means the result of the action is described in the first sentence. So if the result of any action is described in first sentence, you must understand that uh, now you are going to give your statement according to the result or the consequence. So the consequence is he has arrived late. So here you will be showing your assurity and to show your assurity there you will write must okay next question is children question number 11 who 21 who has written the lost child so you know very well that lost child is written by mulk raj anand that we have practiced very well who helped the lost child after losing his parents? So after losing his parents, you know, his uncle was not there. His father was not there. He was missing his friend's father. No, it was not in the story. A stranger had taken him up in his uh, arms and was asking him and trying to soothe him and uh, coax him so that he may not cry and tell him about his parents. 23rd, which one of the following option best describes the scene of uh, fair in the story, The Lost Child? So here, these things are given, garland, balloon, toys, balloon, swing, garland. These options are appealing same. And uh, balloon, garland, here, these things are in extended form. So here, this is the most appropriate because this option is showing almost all the things which were shown in the story in the fair. Next is, 
why did Toto run away from the dish of uh, run away with the dish of Pulao? So you know, dish is the plate. Dish is the plate that we call any any food that is very delicious. So we call it a dish. So actually, the food is not dish. Actually, the plate is called dish. Okay, because it is in circular form. Okay. Next is, uh, and the food is called cuisine. Food. Food is called cuisine. Next is, 24th. Why did Toto run away with the dish of Pulao? So the 24th answer is, as Toto wanted to enjoy Pulao. Simple. 25th. Why did the ticket collector annoy grandfather? In the story of the adventure of Toto. So you know very well what had happened. Uh, that because the ticket collector called Toto a dog and actually it was not a dog. So this statement of ticket collector irritated or annoyed um, or made him anger. Okay, because the ticket collector was frightened with the act of Toto and to take revenge. He was insisting that what you have with you is not a monkey, is a dog. Okay. And for that, you will have to pay. So for this reason, he was insisting and his insistence means his reputation of his claim made the grandfather angry, means annoy. Next is 26th. Why did Toto fail to make its room in the private zoo? of others of the of author's grandfather so 26th is a because toto was mischievous you know very well how toto was toto was not any sort of animal which could be kept uh, at home okay if you have learned next is 27th how did the merchant define uh, defend himself in the story I'm sorry. Here the story is in the kingdom of fools. So they, uh, the merchant, they are asking about the merchant. So the merchant blamed the mason. You know, the first person who was uh, called or summoned by the king was the mason. So here, mason tried to defend himself by blaming somebody else. And who somebody else was? He was the mason who had built the wall. So he claimed that I am not responsible for this. But the person who has made the wall is responsible. So the person who had made the wall was a mason and he was called. Further, the mason said that I am not responsible for this. The dancing girl who was moving through to and fro disturbed me. So she is responsible. So he saved himself. By blaming the dancing girl and again the dancing girl blamed the, um, the shopkeeper goldsmith and goldsmith transferred this blame to the merchant once again. So that was the full swing in the story. Next is the disciple in the kingdom of fools had done nothing wrong. Why was he arrested then? So you know very well that uh, 28th answer is because he was very fat. You know very well. They only wanted a fat person who can be executed by putting on the stake. Stake is a pointed stick, okay, which was uh, used to uh, give death punishment to any of the person found guilty, okay, by the court. Next is 29th question. What are the Guru's words of wisdom in the kingdom of fools? They are all fools. Guru had said, yes, he had said. This won't last very long. Yes, it was also said by him. And you can't tell what they will do to you next. Yes, exactly it was. So here, above all. Fourth op option is the most appropriate option here. D option is the correct answer. Now 30. Question number 30. How did the prince help the match girl? 
So the prince helped the match girl by giving him a, her a sapphire. A sapphire was given, a kind of stone. Next is 31. What happened when the little swallow, means the bird, prepared to go to sleep? So when he was preparing to sleep, when he was going to sleep, he felt that he was drenched. He was feeling wet because the happy prince was crying. So his tears were rolling down through uh, his uh, cheek and fell upon the bird. Okay. Next is, where were the dead swallow and the broken laden heart of the happy prince thrown? So it was in the heap of dust. Okay. Here 32 is having second, uh, first option correct. 33. He smiled at Mar Margie and uh, gave her an apple. Then took the teacher apart. Who is he in the given lines? He is the county inspector. A county inspector who had uh, come there to repair the mechanical teacher. Okay. Next is. Why did Margie hate school? You know very well as uh, she was not finding any interest in the um, artificial classes. So she was hating. Moreover, she was not interested in uh, doing her homework. So here, B option. So because of these reasons, she was not able to find any sort of fun. So she thought that school has no fun or school had no fun. So here B option would be the most appropriate option. 35. Who has written the story The Sound of Music? The story Sound of Music is written by Deborah Cowley. D option is the most appropriate. It means correct. Here you will not find any appropriation uh, in relation to the uh, other options. Here you will just write the correct option. Okay. Next is Avalyn Glenny was able to play dash instruments. She was able to play about 1000 instruments. And that was the matter of surprise in the story. Okay. Next is how Kezia used to respond her father when he was going to his office. She used to say goodbye father. D option is the correct answer. In what ways did Kezia's grandfather, uh, grandmother encourage her to get to know her father better? So the way was uh, 38th. It, it was she suggested her to sit with him and present him a pin cushion. That is C is the right answer. 39. Let me see the time here. And you we are getting. So now I will just tell you the answers. Okay. 39. C option is correct. 40. D option is correct. Okay, it is about Kalam's parents. 41. Seagull is a bird, a kind of bird. And 42. B option is correct. Wings of fire. 43. B option is correct. Options in life. Row not taken shows options in life. And 44. D option is correct. Sky full of stars. What do you mean by starry spheres? Okay, sky full of stars. And last question is 45. A. Phobe Carey. A Legend of Northland was written by Phobe Carey. A option is correct. So children, here your class gets over. In next class, we shall start writing section. There we shall learn how to write a descriptive paragraph. Okay, so have a look on descriptive paragraph if you are having any text. Okay. With this, uh, see you once again, okay?